So let's talk about Gcam ports for Surface Duo 2. For a long time, what I have been recommending to everyone was to use the stock camera app like 90% of the time. But if you're in a low light scenario or just a challenging photographic scenario, to use a Gcam port on your Duo 2. If you're on Duo 1, you might just want to use the Gcam port all the time because it's almost always going to render better results. On Duo 2, low light, challenging scenarios, probably going to get the better result out of Gcam. If you don't know, Gcam is literally the camera software from the Pixel pulled off of that, you know, all that software magic, and then ported to other devices. You can download these ports for various devices. Some of them work relatively well on Duo 2 and on Duo 1 as well. But the problem is that a few updates ago, something got broken and you would take a picture with Duo 2 and the image just wouldn't save. Anytime the camera app determined that you needed to take a longer exposure, so if it's really well lit and it only needed to, I don't know how many pictures it basically takes with its HDR plus magic, but if you're using HDR plus enhanced, and it took too many pictures and then tried to stack them and do the software algorithmic magic to make the better image, it just wouldn't save. So low light was out, kind of low light was out, really good lighting still generally worked. And if you didn't use HDR plus enhanced, it worked, but the image quality was worse than the stock camera app. So that left us all kind of not being able to use the Gcam app, which I liked having there as a backup. So all that being said, I guess I had missed this post. We're gonna confirm if this is a working thing currently or not, but this was posted by Grandpa Dale Ross, as a lot of you probably in the Duo community know, and he said that if you grab a different library, a lib file for Gcam, apparently it would start working. He's using it with the big caca <laughs> Gcam mod. Uh, I actually was using a different mod. Uh, we'll look at what's available and we'll kind of install the most recent one, and then we're gonna try and grab this lib and install it. Now, apparently it's in a Telegram channel, uh, I do not use Telegram, never have used it, never installed it, don't have an account. But luckily, he uploaded the file and I managed to download it. So if this does work, I will uh, attempt maybe to either link to his file or maybe find a more permanent place to upload it to. Because theoretically, you can just use whatever one I'm going to use. If this works, you can just use the same thing and stay with that for the rest of time. There's no real need to like keep updating your Gcam mod as far as I'm concerned. So the first thing we need to do we need to go get ourselves a Gcam build and install that. So we're just going to go with this one here. I believe this is the one that he's probably using. It's the most recent version of that one. So we're just going to click on the top one. It is apparently a fix of some kind. Now, once it is done downloading, you're just going to simply install the APK. You may need to give your browser permission to allow that to happen. There we go. We're going to go ahead and install. And let's click on open and accept all of these permissions and hopefully all of our lenses are working so over here we have 1.9 and 0.6 so that is yes all of our lenses are functional so now what i need to do here is let's make sure that hdr plus enhanced is on which it is and let's take a picture it's going to be in low light and let's see if it actually saves it so here we go just pointing down at my table taking the picture and you will see there in the bottom right that no picture was taken. Now let's take a picture that is very, very bright. And that picture you can see down in the bottom right was saved. So in fact, this is a broken Gcam mod. So now apparently we can use the file that he uploaded to fix this. And apparently this is pretty simple. All we should need to do is download the file that I'm gonna have linked. Like I said, it's gonna be his link or a more permanent place. And it's going to be a file called uh lib lib g cast startup something 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 it'll be a dot so file you'll know when you see it download that you can leave it in your download folder it's fine click here go to more settings go to libraries uh copy third party lib to app and it just saw it for me like it just saw the thing in there i just clicked on that and then i clicked on load custom library and it was on google i moved it to this one there and just reset on me, load custom library, move it to that one there, and you're done. And apparently this will now be working. We can test this just as easily. Let's point it down at my table, just like I did before, so that it is totally black, and it's struggling to take a really long picture. And guess what? It actually did save it. So 
for you about uh, 0.1 seconds are going to pass for me. I'm going to go take some sample photos and just confirm that this is working as well as maybe bring you guys some comparative images real quick. Okay, so great news is that fix absolutely totally does work. And the other piece of great news is that it is still extraordinarily effective. So let's look very, very quickly at some samples. So this is the standard camera app and you can see it's a little bit on the dark side. And because of this, you get some graininess down here, some loss of detail. It's not horrible because it is kind of low light. Doesn't look that great though. The Gcam app totally cleans up effectively all of that graininess. It's it's much, much, much better, much better detail. Again, low light is where this thing performs and you can I think you can pretty clearly see the benefit there. Now we turn down the lights a little bit lower and well, yeah, Duo 2 kind of falls apart. This was, I think, on a three second exposure uh, that it pulls up there on its own and it does, does not look good at all. The Gcam port, it's fine. It still looks quite good. I don't know why it keeps turning black when I zoom in, but you can see there it's a little bit worse, but this this is about as bad as the okay lit version that the stock camera took. So that is a pretty good improvement. Now, if we take some more low light, this was, you know, again, this was a three second exposure there for the Duo stock app. This text is totally not readable back there. If we go to the Gcam port, well, guess what? We're gonna go black again for some reason, but it is absolutely readable. Low light, this thing absolutely destroys the stock camera app. Now in good lighting, it's not quite as big of a deal. So this is the stock app, and I think this looks fine. The Gcam app maybe is a little bit brighter, but it's a really similar image with the wide angle lens. This is the stock app. I think it's a little dingy. The colors are a little bit muted. It's a little bit grainy. The Gcam brings those colors back out. It exposes it a bit better. I think that's an improvement on the telephoto. This is the stock app. That I think this actually looks pretty good. The G cam looks really, really similar. So on the wide angle, as well as in low light, kind of those tougher scenarios, use this port. You can download it, download that file, follow those instructions, and you're off and running. Thanks to Dale Ross for providing that lib file. This is his fix. I am simply communicating it towards you. You saw his name on Reddit. If you are a user there, go say thanks to him there, as well as you can find him on YouTube. He does, in fact, have a YouTube channel, which if you give me two seconds, I'll be more than happy to show you. This is his YouTube channel, 490 subscribers, and he will on the occasion talk about Surface Duo and things like that. So if you wanna go say thanks to him by uh, hitting that sub button, uh, that would be a nice thing to do. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.